Join us for the very first IFL Live at London's Indigo at the O2, Sunday, August the 13th, with me, Coogan Cassius, and some very special guests, Eddie Hearn, Darren Barker, Johnny Fisher, and more. Tickets now on sale. So in the words of Eddie Hearn, you get up, you dress up, and you fucking shut up. This is Joe Few for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're here at the Edge Gym in Romford. <laughs> this is O'Hara Davis, are you still filming? Yep. I think Brooke's a bit shy because this is like, is this take number three or four? What takes this? Two. Take, take two. Brooke, are you shy? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you shy for? Oh, you're just making it worse. So you're looking forward to having your first fight in Denmark on a Disrupt Boxing Show. How are you feeling, Brooke? Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm looking forward to it. Um, any news on your opponent? Uh, yeah, I'm fighting Joyce V.E., I think her name is. Uh-huh. She's two and two and one, I believe. Uh-huh. You going to get her out of there? You going to win the fight on points? How you? How you feeling? How you feeling like you're going to be looking on your pro debut? I don't plan on letting it go further than two, but obviously we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens on the night. That's what I want to see. Are you still shy? No. <laughs> You're not a shadow more, you see? I frankly the shadows out of her. It's the O'Hara effect. How do you think I'll do if I worked for IFL? I think I've got decent interviewer skills. But I don't think I'd get behind the camera. I'd want to be like this. I'd want to be seen on the camera and I'd want to interview like this. Just so I can get my face in there. You know what I mean? Carry on then, Carry on. What else should I ask her? This is your interview. Uh, I film. Brooke's been with us for ages now. She's been in the gym, working hard, she comes on the track, she, she spars good and, you know, I think Brooke's going to be a champion as long as she keeps her mind in the right place and she stays focused. She's a bit shy, as you can tell, she's a bit shy, but off the camera, she ain't shy. <laughs> off the camera, Brooke is not shy. Brooke's loud and she's, you know, she's loud and she's, and she's a part of us. But, you know, on camera, she's a bit like, it seems a bit timid, a bit shy. But you wait till fight night, because there ain't going to be no shy girl, no timid girl. What you're going to see is a destroyer at work. We're going to see some destruction. We're going to see blood. We're going to see sweat. We're going to see tears. And not tears from her. <laughs> tears from the opponent. From Brooks, going to be tears of joy. Ain't that right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else should I ask her? So just for everyone who's watching this, Brooke is not like this, is she, O'Hara? Brooke and her mum, Lisa, who works here, are not like this. They're the life and soul of the gym. As soon as that camera goes off, Brooke's loud, like, and back, and back. But I don't know why she's still shy on camera. You know what? I was like that at first, on my first few interviews. I was a bit shy. Was she? Yeah. But... <laughs> I can't imagine that. <laughs> no, nah, I was always a bit shy in my boxing career at the start, but now... I'm more confident. I speak much more confident now. And um, I think Brooke's a bit shy now. And I think in a few years or so, a few months, she get more confident. It's that media training. A lot of us are not media trained. I've never media trained. I just come straight from the hood. I box and then bang, I've got cameras in my face. And I'm like, fuck, you know, what's going on? I did not know back this life. I'm from the hood. And Brooke's not from the hood, but she never had a camera pushed up in her face. Like, tell me about your life. It's like, whoa, chill. I feel a lot of us need to be media trained before we get the camera put in our face. Don't you think? Yeah, no, I, think I think like if you've got media trained, we'll be able to handle it much more better. And it's like it's not new, but you see right now, this is new. Like whoa! But like with me now, I've done this so many times, so many times. But the first time, I was like wow. But now I'm used to it now. Damn, I feel like a veteran. I feel like a. You are the veteran of the gym. <laughs> Although you've only just signed with Golden Boy, but. My career's only starting. Oh yeah, I'm signed to Golden Boy here. Oh, yeah, that's good in the Golden Boy. No, serious note. What's it like to have your debut on such a big unification fight with Dina? I'm gone. Bye. <laughs> bye bye, O'Hara. Um, well, obviously, to be fair, I've been waiting such a long time. Um, there's been a lot of setbacks, so I'm looking forward to it really, just to sort of get the ball rolling. What, like three, four months where I've been coming down here on a more regular basis? Will has been banging your drum saying how good you are. You've got training later against Rosanna, who's obviously a very seasoned amateur. What can we expect from you? What sort of style are we going to see, not just on your debut, but as your career progresses? Um, 
I think I can mix up my styles. I can sort of match any sort of opponent. Um, I do like to have a scrap. I do prefer like a bit of a messy fight. Um, but yeah, I can I can match styles. So whatever she brings, I'll bring to. You're gonna bring the heat, bring entertainment. Yeah, hundred percent, definitely. Anyone I tell you, any of my spars, it's always always exciting. Last one then. Double question. What's it like working with Will day to day in the gym and being managed by Lee Eaton? Um, Will, Will's Will, and he? he's a he's a good boy. He's a good coach. Um, cares very much about everyone. Yeah, that's the best I can say at the minute because uh, I'm getting evils from the other side of the ring. Um, Lee, Lee's a character. It's a. Uh, so like really just to confirm you're not related because everyone will say that yeah no we're not related we're not related at all yeah thank god for you yeah 100 <laughs> listen brooke thank you very much for being to ifl tv first interview was that yeah yeah first time with you guys how was it it's an interview is an interview i suppose <laughs> Best of luck on the 31st of all, no, 1st of all, 1st of September. Hopefully I will be there and I will see you very soon. Thank you very much, thanks for your time. For the very first IFL Live at London's Indigo at the O2, Sunday, August the 13th, with me, Coogan Cassius, and some very special guests, Eddie Hearn, Darren Barker, Johnny Fisher and more. Tickets now on sale. So in the words of Eddie Hearn, you get up, you dress up, and you fucking show up.